Hi everyone, it's Jackie at Spare Room Studio and today I'm doing a flip through of Yam Puff's Chibi Wonderland. A couple of people were interested in seeing the pictures in this book so I'll do a flip through for you. It is Amazon printed. My copy was printed in Sydney, New South Wales in Australia. Um, so it is a, an Amazon printed book. The paper here is quite good so um, I don't have an issue with most of our Amazon printed books. Um, the first page here talks a little bit about uh, copyright and so on. It is actually a new book this year, copyright 2024. The artist is Yasmin Elderhan, E-L-D-A-H-A-N. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, but they go by the name Yampuff. And um, we have a This Book Belongs To page. A little bit of a recommendation there of how to use the book. Where you can find Yam Puff on the various social media platforms. And then we get into the pictures. Now the pictures are a little bit different in this book in that we have three sets of images for each character. And they are a little bit different. So the first page or first version of the character is quite detailed. It has a background and a name. In this one, it looks like a playing card. The next version has no name on there and no real background. I'm sorry if you can hear Hamish in the background. And then we have a very simplified heavy line version and I feel like these are handy for when you want a quick colour, but also for trying some colour palettes on before you go into the more involved drawing, maybe. So next we have the White Rabbit. And I've coloured this version. I used water-based markers and gel pen and acrylic paint marker for that background. And... The water-based markers did go through, <clears throat> excuse my voice. The water-based markers did go through. I haven't used any water on this. This is just um, multiple layers of color that I've used with the water-based marker. And that's how that one turned out. And then this one, I tried out acrylic paint markers and then I've used a little bit of coloured pencil over it. But I wanted to have a go at using just acrylic paint markers to start with. And those big bold lines seemed ideal for having a go with those. So that's the difference between those two versions. And we go on to the Queen of Hearts. That one's a little bit more simple. And then we've got the very simple one. So I quite like this concept. It gives you an opportunity to have um, another go at the character without having exactly the same image or depending on what your mood is, whether you need um, a simple colour versus a complicated one, or whether you want a really simple one and just practise some colours maybe, or test out your media. The Red Queen. So it doesn't really uh, follow the story, it just has the characters from the story. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Or the other way around, Tweedledum and Tweedledee. You could maybe have a play with some of these um, more open compositions and do some collage maybe. The singing flowers.
the line work is a lot finer on those copies and then you've got the really heavy one there. So again, if you just want to use your alcohol markers or your acrylic paint markers or even try painting with a brush, that would be easier. This one is called Card Soldier. And we have the Mad Hatter. This one is a landscape. This is the Dormouse. And then we go back to portrait. This one I was just playing with some different colours and I've used some gel pen, uh, alcohol markers, um, I did actually have some coloured pencil that I didn't like, so I went over the top with the alcohol marker. So this was a bit of a test page. The March Hare. Is that what it says? Yeah, March Hare. Sorry. Just had a mental blank then. <coughs> Another one that I've coloured, the Cheshire Cat. This one I actually coloured all with Crayola coloured pencil. Then I've used Wink of Stella on the moon, some sparkle gel pen on the stars and an alcohol marker border. And my backing sheet had moved but that's okay because if I do a, a dark sky behind there, it will cover it up. The caterpillar. Then we've got Alice there with the flamingo and the hedgehog. And that's the end. So on the back here, you've got a bit to do some testing. That was some pencils that I was trying out, but they didn't work that great on this paper. And then Yam Puff's other books. And that's the end. So I hope you enjoyed that flip through. Thank you for joining me and I will be back with a colouring video very soon. Bye for now.